Okay, uh, this time of this year, this is our third year here at uh, the supermarket art fair and uh, this year we decided to uh, cooperate with a Finnish organization called Heavy Mary Finland and together we came up with uh, the concept of a new uh, crowdfunded uh, contemporary art award and this year we are presenting the six finalists and we started in de uh, December last year and over 300 people applied to participate for the, the award and uh, the two organizations narrowed it down to 25 candidates. Then we gave those people to a professional jury from curators and established artists and they narrowed it down to the six finalists which are presented here. And uh, this year, it's, uh, since it's completely crowdfunded, we asked the, the, the visitors of the art fair to choose or to vote for a winner and then uh, make a donation into the, the thing over there. And all that money which is raised here and on our website, it's another crowdfunding campaign, goes to the winning artist as a stimulus for his uh, future career. Okay, and the artists, are, are, are them from uh, Finland and Netherlands or from uh, all over the place? We had, uh, we had um, artists participating from all over the world, from Azerbaijan to India, Mexico, Australia, Ireland. And actually the finalists are mainly uh, two people from Finland, uh, three people from Germany, of which one is living in the Netherlands, and a, let me think, uh, two Finnish, three, and a Dutch person. Okay. Yeah. But, but it's actually a coincidence, it's a sheer coincidence. Because uh, okay. the jury members are also from, uh, they're from America, they're from the Netherlands, uh, Sweden, uh, two from Finland. It's a complete mix of uh, jury members who decided who the finalists were going to be. Yeah. But you're located and uh, based in in the uh, Netherlands then? Uh, yes, we're, we, Tupi Umi is uh, based in Rotterdam in the Netherlands and Heavy Mary Finland is based in Turku. But we don't have a fixed space. We always take over other people's galleries or museums or galleries or institutions and uh, that's how we work. Since we don't have a, a fixed uh, space for ourselves, uh, we, have, uh, we as an organization don't have too many costs. So we are quite flexible and we've always acted like this. But for the, the big institutions, the museums, the the galleries, uh, the artist run space, it's, it's quite hard because funding goes down. But uh, so, so some are forced to quit, but in, in, uh, simultaneously you see, you see that uh, other uh, new groups are forming, uh, squatting buildings, starting a new gallery. So there's a lot of, uh, how do you call it, uh, motion. There's a lot of things in motion at the moment, yeah. Although people started complaining at the beginning, people have accepted it now and just uh, continued or started a new thing. So it's actually, I think it's, it has a positive side as well. It's not, uh, not only negative. Okay, uh, and uh, what's your uh, uh, main inspiration for going on in this way? Uh, I don't know. It's a lot of fun. Yeah. I used to be an artist, but now I organize more, like uh, organize exhibitions and events and uh, go to art fairs. And, and yeah, it's a, our network is growing and growing and growing and the, the artists motivate me to, to keep on going and uh, it's a lot of fun. Yeah.